<laughs> we're, we're going to delve deeper into lesson number 25. Now, the height of the average horse's shoulder blades is about 64 inches, which is about five foot four inches. Now, some are taller, some are shorter, but that's about the average. Now, when your average horse holds its head up, that can add another 19 inches or so, making the horse's bridle, the, the, I mean, the stuff that goes in, in its mouth, a little more than six and a half feet from the ground. Now, a stadia in the ancient measure of length is 600 feet. So 1,600 stadia at a pro is approximately 960,000 feet, roughly 182 miles, which, believe it or not, is about the physical length of the nation of Israel. Now, let's imagine a circle that has a radius of 91 miles. So that means a straight cut through the middle is 182 miles. Now, around that radius, let's put a six and a half foot high fence. Our imaginary container can hold 6,302,000,000,000 gallons. Now, that is just too big a number to wrap our head around. So our container has enough space to hold Lake Huron, which... You probably have no idea where that is. Okay, uh, something maybe a little easier. Our container has enough room to hold the entirety of the Dead Sea. Okay, that's not much better. But let's look at Revelation 14, 19 through 20. The angel swung his sickle and harvested the earth's vintage and heaved it into the wine press, a giant wine press of God's wrath. And the wine press was outside the city and the vintage was trodden and blood poured from the wine press as high as a horse's bridle, a river of blood for 200 miles. Now, you would need to press all the blood out of 16,000 trillion people to get that much blood. Friends, you can't take the revelation literally. You must understand the language figuratively. Words represent ideas. They transcend themselves and not necessarily exactly what the words mean. What John sees here is the complete and utter destruction of God's enemies. All those opposed to him are vanquished. Now, if John were writing another seven series, then this is what happens in the seventh event. This is a picture of the ultimate victory of good over evil. Now, if you're wondering where the city John uh, is talking about that he has in mind here, it's safe to assume that the city refers to New Jerusalem. Now, we read about New Jerusalem in chapter 21, verse 27, and what we read is that nothing dirty is ever going to be able to enter the city. Thus, the wine press is for those who have failed to bend the knee to Jesus. My friends, don't let the dragon impress you.